Today on Football Manager 2024 Complete It, mate, we take over Geelang International in Singapore, the lowest rated nation on the game. They've got a stadium capacity of 5,000 people. What a decent enough 4 2 3 1 team set up. Off the bat, we are considered the third best team in the league with favourites, Sailors and Tampines. Clear favourites at the top, but we have got a few star players to build this squad around. So, welcome in a few of the players like Asman, Kieran Tio, Shakifi up front, Ahmad in goal, and we are looking to sign. Peruvian striker Ronald Butron to kick things off. He looks fantastic for this level, as does five-star Brazilian centre-back Cristiano Muniz. We've basically got our own boys in already, as well as Kim C in the South Korean central attacking midfielder, who again is looking to tear up this league, as well as a few Singaporean players to come in and help with registration rules. The lucky thing about things in here in Singapore is there is only one league to contend with, not the 15 of Hong Kong that we had last time out, which is absolutely beautiful. And in our first game in Singapore, football we got off to an absolutely fantastic start of a 7-2 victory against Tanjul Panjang a ridiculous start to life in Singapore and one that we couldn't have wished for a better ball a ball in from Nora at the back stick and Kim Si in gets himself in the mark for his debut which is beautiful to see and we were absolutely fantastic in our Singaporean debut and the goals just kept on covering this one 7-2 a dominant performance and a great way to kick off our Singaporean debut Kim Si in from the spot before Asman makes it a second and we are tuning up. Hubert whips it in the box and it's 2-1. Kim Sing in to the back of the box to Asman. Whipped in the back stick. Kieran Tio for 3-1 against DPMM. And another decent side. And we've reached 200 games in management in this completed FM world. Which is unbelievable how we are here already. A long ball through and Solomon scores for the opposite team when Shakithi brings it into Asman to make things one all. Asman then through the middle to Ronald Boutron who's back from a little injury from the start of the season. It's a 2-1 wing against Hugon United and that is our 200th game. 147 wins. A 73% win ratio is fantastic and the wins didn't stop there. Either back to back in the league, left at six wins winning the row and we were on top of the league and playing a fantastic before we face Sailors up next. And they are one of the best teams in the Singaporean League as well. So today was going to be a very, very difficult task. We play each team three times in the season. Twice away from home against the Sailors. But our first game at home was a 2-1 victory for drawing one all against Tampines, the second best team in the league. And a 2-0 draw against Albi Rex. Kept our unbeaten run going before Axman finds Asman in the box for 1-0 against DPMM. Making it 10 games unbeaten to kick off our start in the Singaporean League. Seven wins, two draws out of nine games, one from last season. Season, which obviously we weren't in charge, but we'll take the 10 game unbeaten streak and we're not going to finish it just yet. We are a fantastic side to kick things off. Playing in that 4 1 2 1 2 system that you saw at the start, we have been a fantastic. A 3 0 victory against the team we beat 7 2 at the start before. We got our first loss. A 1-0 defeat. Absolute heartbreak for Hugh Gang United beating us. We do get our National B license and get offered a brand new contract, which will swiftly decline as we are looking to move on. Every single year, we win a trophy. So Razak from the spot before Boots from the spot gives our winning spree back and we stop the losing rot after just one game. A 2-0 victory before then a goal from McCoy. Whipped to the back stick is Fidia who gets a ball in to McCoy again and McCoy is an absolute issue. Then we was into the back stick again and they're 3 what, three nil up. And they're about to go 4 nil up. Wang Nicholas. A fantastic name. Baltazar 4 nil, Absolutely battered. And the league title was not a runaway despite our fantastic form. We face the Sailors yet again. Aziz. And I mean, it's just a fantastic bit of play there to make it 1-0 for Zafiki. Whoops it in to Aziz to make it 2-0. Boutron from the spot does absolute bits. Abdullah in the back stick. It's 3-2. And this is the moment that is my favourite moment of all time on Football Manager. This is a clip that has gone pretty much viral over on TikTok for, in terms of FM anyway. And I made this ridiculous 3-1-3-1-2 tactic. And the 91st minute live on stream, an absolute madness happened where Boutron whips it into the front post. Kim C and scores. And we had to go a little mental. Drop the grid in. If you want to see moments like this on Twitch, feel free to come over. The link is in the description down below. It is absolute chaos. And we get a lucky 3-3 draw with a fantastic 3-1, 3-1-2. Let's go, I say, in real life. And a 3-3 draw is a fantastic, fantastic result. We then signed Eduardo Garcia, a four and a half star Uruguayan striker who looks absolutely fantastic. And Big Wang Nicholas, who just scored against us, we decided to bring him in as well. The absolute hero of the stream, Wang Nicholas, looks fantastic. And we go into our next game where Noor whips it into the back stick. Kim C in scores to make it 1-0 before going to a 1-0 after a header from M. Bong. And Tampines, who are another very good club, score. And a little bit of a dodgy run of form. Just three, win, well, no, no win in the last three. And 
Things are looking a little bit rough. We do end up being at Alvarex 1-0 away from home before we then get a ball through to our new man, Eddie Garcia, who finds uh, Peruvian Butron. Keng Fang Pang legs it into Garcia to make it 2-0. A ball on the line for Ghani gets it in for 2-1 for Zanion, but Butron puts it home for 3-1, and we end up beating DPMM in a crunch game. And that's because this season, really every single point did matter. Sailors were going toe to toe with us. Every win we got, every win they got. Every draw we got, they would also draw. It was a real ding dong battle this season. But in this next up game, we do end up winning 3-2, which is a fantastic result away from home. Wang Michael sets off to the edge of the box, goes in to Big Wang, and he puts it home for 3 Two, which is fantastic and a, a great victory there. We get five unbeaten and get it back on a little bit of form, which is good to see. A lucky bounce to the box and Boutron makes it 1-0 for Noor. Goes on the right-hand side, finds Boutron again to make it 2-0. Canardi whips it into Boutron. Yeah, and he is a hero. A hat-trick for Boutron. We, Michael, finds Wang Nicholas to make it 4-0 and we are back. A fantastic result and the title race were hot up with eight points clear, but game in hand for Sailors meant things were not done just yet. There was still time for us to try and bottle this title. And believe it or not, this title was going to come down to the very end of the day. And you're going to see an absolute piece of drama, ladies and gentlemen. A 3-1 loss to Young Lions in this game was absolute heartbreak. But like I said, we were lucky because every game we lost, the Sailors lost. And they did lose 1-0 before we faced them up next. So I decided to use the famous 3-1-3-1-2 formation. We were so clear at the top. There was no doubt in my mind we would be okay. We go 1-0 down. We go 2-0 down before Wang Nicholas makes it 2-1. And you know what? We were back in the game. A penalty for them makes it 3-1. Aziz gets into the box to make it 4-1. And yeah, it was one of them games where I sort of wish we didn't try a 3-1-3-1-2. And that gets Sailors right back into it. Five points away from us with a game in hand. Meaning if we drop points against Tampines, which we did, a 1-0 loss, we were in trouble. They also got a draw, so we were lucky. But three losses in the last four meant we were on some awful form heading into the final day of the season against Albi Rex. We set up in a 4-3-3 with an inverted sort of cow on the left-hand side. They set up in a basic 4-4-2. We were top of the league. Four points clear heading into the final day of the season. For some reason, and Sailors are going to play after this game, which is very, very odd. I don't understand how it's happened. They go ahead, vote and put things 1-0 up. We get a ball in the box to make things 1-0 from Kieran Teo. We get in the box again to make it 2-1 from Butron. But we gave away a penalty in the last minute. The game was 2-0 at this point, and they scored it. And we lost 3-2. And you can tell I was absolutely heartbroken. But that doesn't last for very long because we lost which must have meant they lost as well because we lifted the title here in Singapore in season number one. It was absolute scenes on stream again. The completed it, mate. Blurp flying out. We're playing We Are The Champions and the vibes are so strong. And I've got no idea how this ended up happening. We lost 3-2 in the final day of the season. The Sailors lost 3-1. And we tried to bottle this title, but they bottled it even more than us. So we lifted the Singaporean trophy on 46 points, 14 wins from 24 games. We finally break the duck of Tampines and Sailors dominating. They are ecstatic, the Geylang International fans. At 14 to 1 preseason odds, we ended up getting the trophy. And you can see that awful run of form at the end. Four losses in our last five. Absolutely shocking. Boutron was named player of the season, which is fantastic for him. The young proven striker. Hopefully we see him again. We were manager of the year yet again, as we seem to do so much in this series. But there was the Motors Singapore Cup still to play. And we got through our group stage on seven points, beating the Sailors before qualifying for the semi-finals against, uh, I believe the um, Tanjong Pajor is who we played against in the semi-finals. The first leg was a very easy 1-0 victory. Kieran Teo getting us up 12 minutes in. In, heading into the semi-final second leg. Asman to the right-hand side. Whips it in to Garcia with a fantastic header. Kim Se Yin then gets it across the goal for 2-0. We were 3 up on aggregate. 3-1 after that penalty. And they're going to go ahead and score here again. A deflected goal. Muniz, but a goal for us. Makes it 3-2 on the day. 4-2 on aggregate. And we were through to another final and another chance of a trophy against Albi Rex, which uh, didn't go very well. We lost 1-0. I honestly couldn't care less. We won the title, which means we are out of Singapore in just one season. Now, this series is a series where I'm looking to complete every single top division on Football Manager. Last time out, we completed Hong Kong. That video is down here and fizzing around in the background. It is an absolute banger filled with drama. So go ahead and watch that one.